For case 2, sa case 2 natin, hindi na address yung uliwan. So, magkakaroon na both ng movement. So, i-draw muna ulit natin yung diagram. Okay, this is our point A, point O, and point B. So, mag-move sila. Itong point A natin ay magiging dito sa A prime. So, draw natin as pag ganyan magiging movement nila, ito si point O. Derivative of S at O. This is derivative of S at A. And ito yung ating B prime. So, ito yung ating ngayon na derivative of S at B. Ito yung ating D theta. For the velocity, again, lahat sila yung nag-move na. So, this is the velocity at A. Velocity at point O. And velocity of point B. And for the acceleration, this is the tangential acceleration point A. A at A tangential. Yung ating tangential acceleration ng point B ay pababa. And tangential. And CO natin is ito. This is AO. And yung broken line is papaganyan. So, yung point C natin and hence yung point A in motion, yung line AB natin ay magmove sa A prime, B prime during time derivative of T. So, from the diagram, makikita natin for this case that yung displacements and yung there and yung time derivatives ay magbabago rin. And ito yung kanilang equations. We have ds at b minus ds at a is equal to line ab times derivative of d theta. Yung velocity at b naman minus velocity at a is equal to line ab times the angular velocity. And for the acceleration, tangential acceleration of b minus tangential acceleration of A is equal to line AB times the angular acceleration. Lahat yan nakabase sa diagram. For point O naman, derivative of S at O minus derivative of S at A is equal to line AO, mag-serve as the radius, times derivative of theta. And yung ating VO, Minus VA is equal to line AO times the angular velocity. And yung ating AO minus tangential acceleration of A is equal to line AO times the angular acceleration. So in this case, since nag-move na rin yung ating point A, magagamit na natin yung pulley sa left side which is yung sa point C. And with velocity at point C, ito yan, linear velocity at point C is equal to R1 times angular velocity at 1 is equal to 4 times 1, nasa given, ito yan, 4 and 1. And this is equal to 4 inches per second. Yung acceleration naman natin at C is equal to R1 times angular acceleration at 1 is equal to 4 times 4. Ito yan. And this is equal to 16 inches per second square. Sa point D naman natin, of course, magkakaroon din ng changes. Velocity at point D is equal to R2 times angular acceleration at 2. This is 4 times to nasa conditions and nasa figure natin this is equal to 8 inches per second for the acceleration at point D naman R2 times accel angular acceleration at angular acceleration 2 this is 4 times negative 2 and yan this is equal to negative 8 inches per second square and for the angular motions muna ng ating double pulley, gagamitin na natin itong 
mga equations na ito. And let's proceed to the next page. Case 2 pa din tayo. For the angular motions muna ng double pulley natin, angular, angular velocity is equal to Vb from the equations kanina sa previous page minus Va over line AB. And ito ay equal lang din sa linear velocity at D natin. Ito minus Vc. Ito yan. Ito yan. Over line a, B. So, substituting the values, this is equal to 8 minus 4 over 12. And ang angular, and angular velocity natin is equal to 1 over 3 rad per second. And this is counterclockwise. For the angular acceleration, tangential acceleration of B minus tangential acceleration at A over line AB, again, ito ay equal lang sa AD, and ito ay equal naman sa AC, the linear acceleration sa point B at point C, over line AB. Substituting the values, negative 8 minus negative 16 over 12. Angular acceleration natin for the double pulley is equal to negative 2 rad per second squared. This is clockwise. For the corresponding motion of point O naman natin and the load L, using pa rin yung equations natin from the previous page, yung VO natin is equal to VA plus line AO times the angular velocity. And again, yung VA natin equal lang din sa VC plus Line AO times the angular velocity. Substituting the values, VO is equal to 4 plus 4 yung ating line AO times 1 over 3. And VO natin is equal to 16 over 3 inches per second. This is the linear velocity at point O. For linear acceleration AO, this is equal to tangential acceleration A plus line AO times the angular acceleration. And again, ito ay equal lang din sa AC plus line AO times angular acceleration. Substituting the values, AO is equal to, this is 16 plus 4 times negative Two, ito yung line AO. Linear acceleration natin at point O now is equal to 8 inches per second square. These are all the values of the angular and linear motions for the case 2. And this is example number 2. Example number 3. Motion of the equilateral triangular plate ABC in its plane is controlled by the hydraulic cylinder D. If the piston rod in the cylinder is moving upward at a constant rate of 0.3 meters per second during an interval of its motion, calculate for the instant when theta is equal to 30 degrees, the velocity and acceleration of the center of the roller B in the horizontal guide and the angular velocity and angular acceleration of the edge CB. Using the x and y coordinates sa NASA figure natin, this is the x and this is the y coordinate, given sa atin yung value ng velocity of point A na 0.3 with the x and y coordinates na nakalagay sa figure natin. This is the x and this is the y. We have given the value of the velocity at point A which is 0.3 meters per second or in other words, pwede natin i-write ito as y prime since nasa vertical direction yung ating point A. And yung Acceleration naman at point A is 0 or pwede natin siyang i-write as the y double prime. Yung accompanying motion ng point B is given by x and its derivative. So, ito yung point B natin. Dito tayo magbe-base for the derivatives of point B. Ibig sabihin, yung x prime natin, since this is the position, yung x prime niyan ay yung velocity and yung x double prime ay yung acceleration. So, paano natin masasolve yan? We will use the 
equation x square plus y square is equal to b square. Since etong triangle na to ang gagamitin natin the Pythagorean theorem principle. And of course, para masolve natin itong x prime and x double prime, we have to differentiate this equation. Since we have the given value here na 0 0.2, derivative of constant is 0 na yan. So, first derivative of this equation is x times x prime plus y times y prime and this is equal to 0. So, yung x prime natin is equal to negative y over x y prime. Ito yung ating velocity ng point B. The second derivative of the position. For the acceleration naman, we differentiate again the equation. This is x times x double prime plus x prime square plus y times y double prime plus y prime square equals 0. And solving for the x prime, which is yung kanyang acceleration, x prime is equal to negative x prime square plus y prime square over x minus y over x y double prime. Using that, using the trigonometric functions sa sine theta and yung cosine theta, since nasa triangle pa rin tayo dito, it means that yung y pwede nating equate sa b, ito yung b na yan, b sine theta, and yung x naman can be equated to b cosine theta. So, gagamitin din natin itong formula na ito to solve for the velocity and the acceleration. So, let's start with the velocity at point B. Again, ito rin yan. So, this is x prime equals negative y over x times y prime. So, velocity at point B is equal to negative. Ang y natin, since wala tayong given a value for y, ito, this is B sine theta over x na B cosine theta, cancel, cancel. Ang y prime natin, ang y prime natin ay equal sa velocity at point A. Ito yan. So, this is velocity at point A. Velocity at point B now is equal to, may value na tayo ng velocity at point A na negative 0.3. Ito yan. So, lagay natin ito as negative, ito yan, negative 0.3 times this is, sine over cosine is tangent tangent theta. And mayroon tayong value ng theta na 30 degrees. And by calculating, velocity at point B now is equal to negative 0 0.1732 meters per second. Ito yung velocity at point B. For the acceleration at point B, let's proceed to the next page. Using again the differentiated equation, in second derivative, we have x double prime is equal to negative x prime square plus y prime square over x minus y over x times y double prime. Since yung, double, since yung y double prime natin is 0, ito yung acceleration at point A, 0 na yan. Dito lang tayo magbe-base. x double prime is equal to, ito yung acceleration at point B. We have negative x prime square plus y prime square over x. So, alam na natin yung value ng x prime. Ito yung velocity at point B na nasolve natin kanina sa previous page. Pero ilagay na lang natin as this a b is equal to negative times negative v a tangent theta it, naka square siya. So, this is square Plus, ang y prime natin na alam na rin natin ang value which is yung VA natin. This is square over yung x na B cosine theta. So, ito na lang gagamitin natin and masasolve na natin yung acceleration at point B. Acceleration at point B now is equal to, this is negative. Negative ang value ng VA natin is 0 0.3 tangent. 30 degrees, ka square to, plus, ang VA ulit natin is 0 0.3, square, over B natin is 0 
cosine 30 degrees. Finally, ang acceleration natin at point B is equal to negative 0 0.693 meter per second square. Ito yung ating acceleration for point B. Yung negative signs natin for velocity at point B and, and acceleration at point B indicate that yung velocity and the acceleration ng point B na yan are both to the right since x and yung derivative niya ay positive to the left. The angular motion of edge CB, sulat natin, edge CB, yung angular motion ng CB is the same as that of every line on the plate. Ibig sabihin, yung angular motion nitong part na to, ng CB na to, ay equal din dito and lalong lalo na dito. So, ang gamitin na lang natin is yung AB na lang. We have an equation kanina na y is equal to b sin theta, the trigonometric function, gagamitan natin using ito at saka ito, sin function. So, i-differentiate natin, we will have y prime is equal to b theta prime cosine theta. So, using this equation, pwede na natin masolve dito yung angular velocity ng edge AB which is equal sa angular velocity ng edge CB. Ito yung angular velocity. Theta prime is equal to the angular velocity. Manipulating this equation, theta prime is equal to angular velocity and this is equal to y prime over b cosine theta which is yung y prime natin is yung VA and yun. And substituting the values, theta prime or simply yung angular velocity na lang is equal to, ang value ng VA natin is equal to 0 0.3 over yung B natin na 0 0.2 cosine 30 degrees. Angular velocity is equal to 1.732 rad per second. Ito yung angular velocity ng edge AB na yun na rin ang value ng para sa CB. Para sa angular acceleration ng edge CB natin, same pa rin ang gagamitin natin, line AB pa din. <coughs> I-differentiate natin itong equation na to. So, we will have theta prime. Para mas madali, i natin yung equation. This is y prime or VA na lang ilagay natin over B cosine theta ayusin natin ito this is VA over B cosine um, 1 over cosine theta is equal to second theta by reciprocal identity and i-differentiate natin ito theta double prime or the angular acceleration natin is now equal to by differentiating V over A over B times theta prime second theta, tangent theta, hindi ko na inilagay yung solution ng differentiation. Using this equation, pwede na natin ngayon i-substitute yung values directly to solve for the angular acceleration of CB. The angular acceleration, take note na line AB pa rin ang ginagamit natin dito since equal lang naman sila sa CB. Ang VA natin is 0.3, ang value ng B natin is 0.2, ang theta prime natin is yung angular velocity which is 1.732 second theta ang theta natin is 30 degrees and tangent theta tangent 30 degrees angular acceleration now is equal to 1.732 rad per second square pa din so this is the value for angular acceleration ng edge cb both the angular acceleration and the angular velocity are counterclockwise since yung kanilang signs are positive and in the sense of the positive measurement ng theta. This is example number 3.